Good morning and welcome to Java with Jamie. This is October 10th, my dad's birthday. Ah, happy birthday, dad. Recently trying to dig down into what I really want to do. Like, you know how they say like to do what you love to do and the money will follow or, you know, do what you love to do and it won't feel like work, you know, along those lines. And what I really love to do is make content, edit the content, and then repurpose the content. And I really I just love that whole process of what I'm doing here. And I thought, well, why not just focus on that? Why not just delve into that part and find the best ways, fastest ways, most efficient ways of repurposing content and, and, and teach that. I'm going to dig deeper into that. I'm going to start looking at like making videos better. I've been using CapCut. I wanted to show you this actually. Let me bring it up on my screen, but I got the pro version of CapCut. This is just a, a stupid video that I recorded yesterday because I needed to kind of play around with the features. Um, originally it was in the 16 by nine, but then I used CapCut to change the ratio. Um, so I was trying to tr trying to figure out like where to sit so that when I changed the ratio that I was still in the frames. And then I also started to play with the pro features of CapCut here on the side for, uh, you can see where it says video and then I clicked on enhance. And then you can check some of these boxes like face, you can even out your skin tone, which I didn't really seem to have any skin tone problems, but you can smooth it. Look how smooth it's making my skin. This is the original, you know, I might go something like right here. I mean, you don't want to look, I don't want to look like a hag, but I also don't want to look like I'm trying to be 18 either. Um, so some of these other things you can play around with. I also liked putting makeup on. So like when I put, when I go like this, I'm not wearing any makeup, but then I picked, I think this latte one. And then you can put the degree of how much makeup is on your face or not. So I thought, you know, just a little bit, a little touch, but there's other little makeup things that you can do. I mean, obviously it's changing my eye color and I'm like, I don't really like that, but you know, maybe one of these, I'm not sure. That's in the pro features. I also want to look at making my videos better, make it more visually interesting. So it's not just, you know, us looking at each other to have maybe like some text on screen, some stuff coming in, some transitions. Uh, I need to figure out how to do that in CapCut. I was watching some videos on YouTube and people were saying that they were using, um, what's the other one? Final Cut Pro. And I was like, oh, okay, Final Cut Pro. And I went and looked at it, I think it was like $300. I was like, nope, not gonna do that yet. I mean, maybe someday in the future, but I'd rather just use CapCut, which I'm paying the, I think it's $7.99 a month for the Pro. And I'm like, I'm good with that for right now. Learned a couple new things in Canva this week. I was playing around with some of the apps that Canva has, and I was trying to figure out how to put like dots behind something that I was trying to do. And I, it just wasn't lining up, right? Because when you make like a, a copy of the dots, and then you try to, you know, space them out, like I couldn't get them right. I tried using the, the tidy up and it was like, it was okay, whatever. But then I figured out there was an app for putting like dots and, and stuff behind. So let me show you real quick. Go to Canva. I need to play with this Magic Studio too. I haven't played with that yet. So if I go to apps and I go to hand grid and then use, and let's just new, new design and then just pick something. So you can pick over here on the side whether you want lines, dots, triangles, squares, diamonds, pluses, and then, you know, like how many rows. So like if I wanted to do the dots, like I said, I could, let me move me out of the way, do so many rows. And I think 10 is the max. That's what that it'll do. And you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. And then you can add it to your design. So it looks pretty nice, right? You can also, you know, change the transparency. Maybe you don't want it that dark. Just something interesting for your, for a background. Sometimes I like that a little bit on a background so that when I put an element on it, it, it just kind of pops. So like maybe I would do this uh, square. You know, like maybe I would do something like this and do, I, I'm just making something up. I didn't even have a plan for this. I, I don't know, just to give it some, something interesting to look at. Maybe I would do white. Um, I don't know, I have to play around with it, but I thought I would just share that one app. And I don't know that every single person that is watching my video is going to be the, doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. Right? They're not doing YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, uh, X, Threads, Instagram, you know what I mean? Like they're not trying to repurpose content all those places, plus have a blog. And I'm doing it a lot and I don't think that everyone is. So maybe I could pair some things like say, for example, 
if you're doing a YouTube channel, you may want to pick another social media like Pinterest to drive your traffic to your YouTube channel. Like pair those two together. Or I could do Pinterest and Instagram, or I can do TikTok and Instagram. So maybe like a pair of things rather than trying to say, here's your starting thing and you're going to do it across these 10 different platforms. And it's too much. I think it's way too much. And maybe I could say how I'm doing it across all of those platforms, but that wouldn't be like my main meat and potatoes. You know what I mean? Tools for editing and creating videos is like the way to go for making it faster, more efficient, etc. So more to come on that. And I think I'm going to wrap this up and say goodbye for the day. I need to get to work. I also have someone coming over to do a house inspection. I hate that, <laughs> especially when you have a dog, when someone's trying to come to the house and, and do stuff. So anywho, have a fantastic day. I will see you next time. And um, that's it.